In this video, you're gonna learn how to represent a point in polar form in three other ways than what is given. And we're gonna go through three different examples together. So let's dive into this video. So the first thing we wanna talk about is when you write a point in polar form in this r comma theta form, what you wanna do is you wanna start with this first number. This is kinda of like the, the r value or the radius or the distance from the pole, which is often thought of as like our origin in that rectangular form, the xy form. So what we do is we go out to a circle with a radius 3, 1, 2, 3, and then we're going to rotate pi over 4, which we know is a 45 degree angle, and that's going to put us right here. Now if the r value is negative, what I like to do is I like to go to the left 3, okay, and then I would rotate from there. Now do you want to keep in mind that if you're going counterclockwise, it's going to be a positive angle. If you're going clockwise this way, it's going to be a negative angle. So let's look at some other representations of this location here. Instead of 3 pi over 4, we could do 3 comma. So I'm going to go here right 1, 2, 3. I'm going to rotate this direction now. And because I'm going clockwise, that's actually 7 pi over 4. So this is negative 7 pi over 4. Since I'm going clockwise, it's a negative angle. Now let's make the r value negative. So let's say negative 3. Now you can do this a couple different ways. You can go left 3 like this and then say, how do I get to this point? Well, I could rotate clockwise 3 pi over 4. Remember when you go clockwise, that's a negative angle. Or we could do, let's see, negative 3. So 1, 2, 3. And I could rotate counterclockwise and this would be 1 pi plus another pi over 4, so that's going to be 5 pi over 4. And you got it. So you can do this um, many more times around the circle. So for example, I could go right 3 and I could rotate, you know, a whole number of times. As long as I end up in the same location, it's going to be another representation for that point. Same thing here, I could go uh, negative 3 and I could rotate as many ways, either direction, as long as I end up at that point, it's going to be another way to represent that uh, polar coordinate. Let's take a look at a couple more examples. If you feel like you're getting the hang of these problems, try number two on your own and we'll go through it together. So we're starting with this point here at negative 2, negative 120 degrees. And another way to look at this is you could start with the angle. You could say, okay, I'm going to start over here. I'm going to rotate uh, negative 120 degrees. So where's negative 120 degrees? Well, negative we go clockwise, 90 plus another 30. So that's going to be somewhere over here. But when you have this negative r value, what you can do is you can go through the pole, okay, to the other side, and that's where your uh, point would be located on a circle with radius 2. I'm not a super big fan of that method. I prefer to think of it as negative. I like to go left 2, and then I like to rotate, in this case, clockwise because it's a negative angle, 120, and that's my location. Either way, you'll get the same result. But what's another way to represent this location? Well, let's do a negative 2 again here. So we're going to go left 2, and instead of going negative 120, let's go counterclockwise. That's a positive angle, 180 plus another 60, which is 240 degrees. Okay, now let's do a positive r value. Say if we go to the right 2, so 1, 2, I could rotate counterclockwise, 60 degrees. That's a positive angle, remember, counterclockwise. Or I could go this direction, which is a negative angle because we're going clockwise, and that's going to be uh, 300 degrees. So this would be 2 comma negative 300. Now, sometimes you might be thinking, Mario, how are you getting all these angles? Well, one way to look at this is, remember when we talked about the unit circle? And remember how we drop a perpendicular to the x-axis and we look at like a reference angle? See, this reference angle here is a 60 degree angle. And so that can help you a little bit. So then you can say to yourself, okay, I get it. I'm going like, this is like 360, but it's like less 60. Okay, it's 300 degrees. You can use this as a guide to kind of help you. Okay, let's look at one last example, number three. See if you can do this one on your own. We've got uh, 1 is our r value, and our angle is in radians, 4 pi over 3. Notice this one was in degrees. Usually if they give it to you in degrees, I'll give the other representations in degrees. If they give it to you in radians, I usually give the other representations in radians. And while you're trying this problem, if you're new to the channel, 
what this is all about is I take what I learn uh, working with other students, kind of like the, the tricky points and how to explain things in a little bit more efficient and easier way with my students in person or online. And I put these uh, tips and techniques in these video lessons to help students learn math easier and faster, et cetera. So if this is something that interests you, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're a returning member, welcome back. So let's look at number three. We've got one, four pi over three. I like to think of this as going right one, okay? And we're gonna rotate four pi over three, which this is like four thirds pi, which is one and one third pi. So one pi is 180. A third of pi puts us right here. Okay, so that's our location. We wanna find three other representations for this location. And again, if you like this little technique, you could think of this as a reference angle. See how we went one pi plus another one third pi? So this reference angle here is pi over three. Let's just make a note of it over here if we need to refer to that. We could also go right one and rotate, instead of counterclockwise, we could rotate clockwise. How much? Well, this would be two-thirds of pi, so because we're going clockwise, it's a negative angle, so negative two-thirds pi. Uh, let's say we make it a negative r value, negative one, so we would go left one, and we could rotate counterclockwise pi over three. That's positive because we're going counterclockwise, or we could go negative one and go clockwise. See, almost one revolution, like two pi, less pi over three. Now, two pi is six pi over three, minus one pi over three is five pi over three and you've got some different representations. Now, sometimes the notation will be, they'll say where theta is between uh, negative two pi and positive two pi, okay? And so they kind of restrict you, but really if there's not any restrictions, you can go around this circle as many times as you want, as long as you end up in that same final location, it's gonna be another representation of that point. So great job if you were able to follow these examples. The next step is knowing how to convert from the polar form to the rectangular form, or the rectangular form to the polar form, and that's what I talk about in that video right there. Follow me over to that video, we'll get some more practice. I'll see you there.